All right, guys, so we just got five brand new NFTs for the upcoming crypto game called Off The Grid. Now, if you guys did not know, Off The Grid is supposed to be one of the, if not the biggest crypto gaming project to ever come out because it's the first ever crypto game to be actually, you know, exposed to the masses of millions of Web2 players in the PS5 as well as Xbox. We've never seen that before. And it's pretty much guaranteed millions of players, right? Because it's not only going to be involved in the Web2 community, but as well as the Web3 community. Now, we just got NFTs that you guys can start farming today. And I'm going to show you guys which NFTs came out and exactly how to farm them as well as brand new Technicore updates. So today's video is gonna be packed with information. And if you guys do wanna keep getting updated here, everything Web3, crypto gaming, off the grid, guns token, and all that good stuff, just simply like and subscribe. We are a brand new crypto gaming channel here, guys. Um, I have what, about 400 subscribers. The goal for the channel is 1,000 subscribers as of right now. So uh, yeah, if you guys would kindly just like and subscribe and comment, that'd be greatly appreciated. And by the way, I will be doing some guns token giveaway very, very soon. So look out for that over on my Twitter, as well as here over on my YouTube or X page, right? So let's get into it. Okay. So uh, we just got the brand new season three of Technocore. And if you guys did not know, Technocore pretty much is a drone game you guys can download today on your app store as well as Google Play Store where you pretty much just fly a drone around, you pick up loot, and then you drop it off to collect NFTs or loot boxes pretty much, right? It's very simple, it's straightforward, but this is an early way to farm NFTs for the upcoming game called Off The Grid. Now, everything you collect here will be transferred to Off The Grid on day one. All you need is Technocore and you need the Guns Wallet app, both of which you can download on the App Store or Google Play Store if you guys have an Android. Now, really quick guys, I just wanna mention all of the brand new NFTs we got, okay? So we got five brand new NFTs and a few changes, okay? So the first NFT, and I might mispronounce this, is called uh, Kilona, Kilona, Kilona AC, right? Which is this pistol. Now it's really cool because the lore of this pistol in the description, it's not here, but I'll just explain to you guys really quick. It's made out of car parts. So this, I just love like some of the lore and this is pretty interesting. It looks pretty badass. One of the cooler looking pistols for sure. Now this is not a customization like the Genkai boy. This is a weapon. So pretty cool to see. And you can farm this not only for uh, elite versions, um, refined as well as standard. So you guys have to farm at least three of these in each version. If you guys want to have, technically speaking, three, uh, three NFTs of this, right? Because Having just an elite, I, I think is just like technically one NFT and then refined is another one and then standard is also another one. So technically speaking, we're getting more than five. Uh, so yeah, that's the first one. Looks really cool, by the way. I love this one. Uh, the next one is called the Skunk Paw. Now, this is not the first time we're seeing this. We've seen this before on a uh, few previews. As you guys can see, let me show you guys really quick. So I made this post a few, uh, a few pretty much a few weeks ago or something, a few days ago, and it shows all of the cyber limbs. Uh, we pretty much have everything here except for two of them, which now is the grappling hook and the slugger. And uh, what's really interesting here is that they change kind of the aesthetic of the skunk paw, because as you guys can see, this is the skunk paw on the preview, which is like this lime green with the hazardous um, logo on it. Um, now they changed it. It's not even lime green anymore. So I do hope they do change this down the line and refix it. And we don't see the hazard logo on it anymore. So um, a few changes to the skunk pop, which to me, I don't like. It looks a lot worse than what it originally was previewed. So hopefully they do address this. But hey, it's a brand new one. And with this, we can farm once again, a standard version, refined as well as elite. So make sure to collect all three. Um, the next one is called Toxic Avenger Half Mask. Now, this is a customization headpiece, okay? Um, very simple. It's just customization. Kind of like the Genkai Boy is a customization skin. It's a skin, right, for the game. So it's like this hazardous mask. And here, you can only farm this Toxic Avenger half mask, uh, half mask only in Elite version, okay? Um, and then down below, we have the Cop Shades, which is very simple. It's only a customization, once again, and only actually available standard version so technically speaking out of all the nfts we got today this is the the cheapest or worst one and i'm gonna tell you guys what my approach is to collecting all this and what you guys technically should do if you guys want to follow me none of this financial advice blah 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 okay um and down below is a raider tactical vest which is um a brand new vest only available i think it's only available in um 
in Elite, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is only available in Elite. So, yeah, we have all of that. That's new to the game. Also, a few changes, which I believe is a bug, is um, a few name changes to some NFTs. For example, to the left-hand side, you guys see two um, snare setters. So, originally down below, this is what it was. It was just snare setter um, in lower capital. Now, they changed the name to the snare setter in all capitalized. But some of them got changed. Some of them didn't. So, that's why I think it's a bug. And I think they're going to fix it down the line. So don't overpay for what's old Sarah Snedder or like the name. I think it's just a bug, right? Same thing goes for the Ripper here. It was the Ripper uncapitalized and now it's the Ripper capitalized, right? So that's that's pretty much all it is. Um, so we have that. Also a massive, massive changes, multitude of changes, of good and bad, which I'll cover here um, for Technocore. Now, if you guys want to start farming guns token today, you guys can do so, although it will reset on main launch. But with these guns token, you can pretty much get the NFTs, which will be transferred into main launch. So it's very important to get the guns token today. Now, one of the bad changes here that I do not like is the balance update. It says here, quote, we slightly adjusted token rewards from 0.75 to 0.5 guns token. So if you guys didn't know, for each match you guys do in Technocore, you guys would previously in season two get 0 0.75 um, guns token. Now it got reduced to 0 0.5. So it's a pretty big change, pretty massive change, right? Nerf. Um, and it says here, please note that the average amount of gun per season will remain the same in slash increase due to the newly introduced tournaments. So this at first glance, it does seem bad. So I'll backtrack here. It does seem bad, but they emphasize here that it will remain the same or increase due to the newly introduced tournaments so um we'll get to the tournaments in just one bit and they also say prestige levels and rewards so we are going to be getting more guns token now apparently uh due to the brand new prestige level which we'll get to right now um so also something called prestige feature just came out which is level beyond 100 with our new prestige options uh featuring additional rewards okay so really quick we nobody knows exactly how this is going to work, what we're going to get, and all that juicy stuff, okay? It's already released, but you need to achieve this. You need to pretty much get to level 100. It's going to take like, I would say, two weeks, give or take, maybe less, to reach level 100, around like 10 days. I We don't know exactly the time. I'm like, I just woke up. I'm already level 13. So eventually, we'll get there soon enough. And once we do, I'll show you guys some details on Prestige. But um, here... It was hinted that, I mean, it says right here that we are going to be getting more rewards, uh, prestige level rewards in guns token. So we are guaranteed more, more stuff. And what's good about this is pretty much now, um, previously in season two, once you reach level 100, you were not able to collect any more loot hex boxes, aka NFT boxes. Uh, from Technocore, now the case is different. Now you can start playing. So it's actually valuable to play as a level 100 player. They punished level 100 players before, right? So um, yeah, this is great. I want to see exactly how they're going to handle this. They did kind of hint some customization to your drone. Uh, perhaps maybe uh, one of the um, team members once like a few weeks ago talked about prestige with me on their discord. And they said that your drone might go super sane. Now don't take that literal. It's just a little hint or maybe kind of like an idea of what they had weeks ago, right? So yeah, um, that's pretty cool too. Also, new tournament leagues, which comes out, I think, May 22nd to May 26th. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what I saw around that date. Um, and we don't know exactly how this is going to work, but it says compete within leagues determined by your level. So it's right now we are in a, you guys can already rank in your leaderboards. Now it's pretty much just different, right? It's, um, it's basically now they're having a tournament. Like I said, I don't want to jump the gun because I don't know the details of this just yet, but it has released and it's going to release um, May 22nd, give or take. So it's going to be pretty much tournaments within tournaments, technically speaking, and that's going to have its own rewards. So once again, I, w I, I want to say more on this, but don't have the full details and I don't want to miss word or anything like that. So that's what we have on it right now. Okay. A few uh, fixed visual issues with the leaderboards. All players' levels already got reset to level uh, zero, RIP to zero, rank season, all that good stuff got reset to level zero. Uh, new rewards that I just mentioned as well. So, a ton of stuff, guys. Um, if you, By the way, if you saved your hex boxes before, it's good news because all of it gets um, 
all of the new NFT drops drops on your old hex boxes. And by the way, if you guys do want a brand new hex box, elite hex box drop NFT box for free completely. Um, all you have to do is join their Discord. And I made a video on this. So if you guys want to backtrack a few videos on my channel here, let me show you guys really quick. It's this video right here. Where is it? Uh, right here. Uh, two videos ago, free NFT airdrop right here. Just go watch this. And uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. We are a brand new channel. You know, um, the game is pretty, not, it's not out yet. So this channel is rolling out a little bit slowly, but I'm the only one uh, making videos on this and stuff like that. So if you do want to support the channel, want to be here, uh, one of the earlier people here on the channel, I'm also going to make a discord and I know I keep saying that, uh, but I am planning on making one. Um, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, man, like once again, I will be having a guns token giveaway and much more giveaways here on my, uh, YouTube, on my X, which is linked down below quick plug, but yeah, um, stay tuned for that. And I'll come out with more videos a little bit later, but once again, if you guys did enjoy the video, like subscribe and I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.